Muhammad's first impression of his revelations was that they were demonic in nature. Muhammad tried repeatedly to kill himself. Muhammad allowed his followers to rape their female captives. The Quran allows Muslims to beat their rebellious wives into submission. Muhammad says the Bible talks about him when according to the Bible he's a false prophet. Muhammad married the divorced wife of his own adopted son. Muhammad was disgraced by God in death. The one way he said he would die if he's a false prophet, that is exactly how Muhammad died. Muhammad had sex with a nine-year-old girl. Muhammad delivered revelations from the devil and came back and blamed the devil for this revelation. Muhammad affirmed the teachings of the Torah and the Gospel when his teachings completely contradict the teachings of the Torah and the Gospel. Muhammad tortured a man named Kanana for money. He killed people who criticized his religion. He, uh, he tried to divorce his wife Sauda when she became unattractive and he had to cut a deal that's affirmed by Allah in order, to, in order for her to, to be able to eat. Uh, Muhammad's uh, revelation to his dinner guest was so obviously from Muhammad and not from Allah. Uh, we, we wonder how anyone can take the Quran seriously after reading it. Uh, Muhammad was a victim of black magic, according to him, not according to us. Uh, Muhammad delivered clearly false prophecies. He encouraged his followers to practice mutta. Mutta, this is prostitution. Uh, he had nine wives when the Quran allows Muslims to have four. He broke his vow to his wife about having sex with his slave girl, and the Quran is completely theologically incoherent. You cannot make sense of it when Allah gives all of this revelation, and then Allah is the one who corrupts it by tricking and deceiving people into believing that Jesus died on the cross. The Quran teaches that stars are missiles that God uses to shoot demons when they try to sneak into heaven. Muhammad ordered his followers to kill apostates, even, who, even those who left for very good reason. According to uh, the Quran, Allah is the greatest of deceiver, deceivers, when according to the Bible, Satan is the father of lies. Muhammad had no assurance of his salvation, despite the fact that he is the greatest of Muslims. According to Muhammad, women are stupid and immoral. Islam promotes idolatry. Muhammad said there would be no discrepancy in the Quran if it's the word of God, when there's all kinds of discrepancy. The Quran is based on the argument from literary excellence, the silliest argument ever offered for anything. Muhammad uh, told his followers about a paradise that would make Hugh Hefner blush with the amount of sexual perversion in it. Uh, and, of course, if Christianity is true, Islam cannot be the truth because they teach different things. Islam teaches that the sun sets in a pool of murky water. The Quran has been corrupted when Allah uh, promised to protect it. Um, the concept of abrogation makes no sense. Allah is turning things right around, changing revelations from one week to the next when this is supposed to be his eternal word. Muhammad supported his fledgling religion by robbing people. Islam took rituals from the pagans. It stole stories uh, from the groups around Muhammad during the time. Muhammad told his followers to breastfeed an adult in order to uh, do away with sexual desire between them. Muhammad wore women's clothing. Islam deifies Muhammad by encouraging Muslims to talk to him directly during prayers. And Islam completely reverses the gospel by having the guilty Judas die on behalf of the innocent Jesus instead of the innocent Jesus dying on behalf of sinners. False revelation from Gabriel, an obviously false revelation. The Quran confuses Mary, the mother of Jesus, with Miriam, the sister of Aaron and Moses. Hygiene practices that would kill you if you took them seriously. Muhammad takes historical figures like Alexander the Great, turns them into Muslims when we know they weren't Muslims. Allah has no, no love for unbelievers, which means he is uh, deficient in love. Allah punishes Jews and Christians for the sins of Muslims, clearly unjust, even according to what Muslims tell me. Uh, Muhammad encourages followers to violently subjugate the rest of the world, clearly inconsistent with the revelation of uh, Jesus, which Muhammad affirms. Allah wants people to sin, showing, where Allah is, showing that Allah is dependent on human beings to show his forgiveness. Islam makes Satan the true hero of everything, and finally, portrays Jesus as a miserable failure. Islam exalts Satan, insults God, and makes Jesus look like a failure. That's what Islam does at the end of the day. And you're telling me this guy is a prophet 